My name is Margie Labella. I've been a music therapist for a while and I've had several fieldwork students and intern students who have asked me to kind of give some guitar pointers and help with for beginning guitarists. So this video is for music therapy students and other people who are interested in learning um, basic guitar skills. First thing that I hear from students is, my fingers hurt. Well, let me tell you how to help that. Um, let, you just have to get your fingers used to it on, on one level. But if your guitar isn't perfect, a lot of times you have a guitar where the strings are too high off the neck, and when you press them down, you really are overpressing. You shouldn't have to do that much work. Way to get around that is tune your guitar down an entire step. So the way to get around that is you tune your guitar strings, every string down too far, one whole step. So your, your outside strings wouldn't be sounding an E natural, they'd be sounding a D natural. Then you want to bring your guitar back up, you take a capo, and you put it on the second fret. That will help. If your strings are way far off your bridge, you might even have to put it on like the fourth or fifth fret and ask for a new guitar for Christmas. But that should help. Just spending five minutes a day working on your guitar chord shapes will teach you the shapes. Spending 35 minutes a day right before your 35 minutes right before your lesson has nowhere near the effectiveness of five minutes a day times all seven days. Do it while you're while the TV commercials are on. Just sit there, you don't even have to press them, just make the shapes, make the shapes. Day by day, that'll help. Here's my quick way how to tune a guitar. Alright, I just untuned it, and uh, I know that my outside strings are named E. That sounds pretty bad. So I'm gonna say, all right, the rest of the guitar sounds all right. So let me tune my top and bottom strings so that they match, right? And then my next string is a B. It should sound, you know, and the G. That's actually an E minor chord right here, E minor. Um, use your ear and tune to that. And then fill in the middle, the middle parts. So one of those was out, it would sound like this. Painful. So take it down, try it again. Woo, wrong way. And there you go. Your guitar is much more tuned. And you can also check out the middle by thinking of it as a G chord. Right there. That sounds good. So that's a quick tuning technique. And never say to your professor anymore, I don't know the names of my strings. You need to know the names of your strings. See here? No more excuses. You know the names of your strings. Helpful to know is uh, your basic Mill Bay things that they'll, they'll give you in guitar class. Here, here's your basic scale. If you know the names of those notes, that will really help you out in life with um, playing bass, bass notes, if you see a C or a G, just a C, you want to be playing that C in the bass, and if you know where it is, you kind of know where to aim for. Here's theory for non-musicians. The one, four, five, you'll hear people talk about, you can figure out a song, most songs are just one, four, fives, and you can figure out songs a lot by the times by their introductions. Here's why they say one, four, five. Key of C, one is a C, one, two, three, four is an F, Five is a G. Five, four, three, two, one. G, F, E, D, C. It's like Facebook. You have your friends. C is friends with F's and G's. You'll notice when you play, you've got a D. Keep D major is D's, G's, and A's go together. E, A, and B7's go together. That's because they're friends. Now, the friends are friends, and this will help you out sometimes when you have a, you know that there's a minor chord in a song you want to like learn or figure out. Your minor chords are going to be, in, in the order of um, occurrence, usually a six chord or a three chord. In the key of C, it's one, two, three, four, five, six is my A minor. You'll notice that it's C, A minor, Fs, and Gs, they're kind of together a lot. Some E minors are there. That's because they're friends of friends. You see that in the key of D, when you have a B minor, there's a reason it's a B minor, it's a six chord. Um, and sometimes you'll see F sharp minor, that's your three chord. There's reasons for these things, and it works like Facebook. 